Let's see, one focus of Ender Rift, one focus of Mending. You know Pesh carry very powerful foci that can induce diseases. With that, you've devised a way to use them to your benefits. This focus will slowly mend the caster's wounds as they're using it, using Vs from the wand in the process. Cool. What is this? Wand focus of uprising. Hmm. I mean, if we can have more focus into our focus bag, why not? All right, so Motus and Air. So Air, Motus, Ordo, Motus, Air, Motus, and then Air, Dang it. I need to make some more of that. Stop it. And then air, vacuos, precantatio, vacuos. All right, one focus of uprising. What is that? Heck yeah. One focus of uprising. Using the knowledge you got from creating the Sword of the Zephyr, all of propelling things around the air, you created a wand focus that will propel the holder in the direction you're, they're looking at. When someone is propelled through the use of this focus, any accumulated gravitational energy is negated, resetting the fall damage the holder would take. Not bad. So it's a quicker way for me to get around. Wand focus of telekinesis. You created a wand that kinetically moves objects laying on the floor. This focus will move any nearby items to where you're pointing at. Sneaking will bring the items towards you instead. Cool. Uh, wand focus of dislocation. You've created a wand focus based on the focus of equal trade. The difference is that this one not only holds the object's fingerprint, but it holds the object itself, allowing it to be placed elsewhere. To get a block to transport, right-click on it. To place it back, right-click somewhere else. This focus can transport pretty much anything, including chests and mob spawners. The Vs cost in, is applied in picking up the block. Placing it down is free. Due to the amount of energy required for the dislocation, blocks with, the with tile entities, such as chests and furnaces, costs five times the amount of Vs as normal. Mob spawners, in particular, cost 20 times instead. So with this, would I be able to pick up like a full chest? Because that'd be pretty cool. So, wow, actually, that's... Wow. That's really cool. Let's see, what other cool things can we make? Transvector interface. Eh, might as well learn about this osmotic enchanter. Osmotic enchanter. Let's also learn about transvector interface. And that should be all right. So throw that back in there. Transvector interface, Perdicio and Ordo. Perdicio and Ordo don't make anything, right? They make Permutatio. Permutatio, Permutatio, and Order to bind you. Transvector interface. Osmotic Enchant, whoa, okay, this is gonna, all right, uh, let's see, Spiritus, Ignis, no, no, Spiritus is made of Victus and Mortis, 
Mortis. Victus. Perdicio. Air. Mortis. Actually, I shouldn't even have to do that. Mortis, Perdicio, Vacuos. Okay, Tenebrae, Vacuos, and. Okay, so it's pretty much going to turn out to be the same thing. Spiritus, Mortis, Perdicio. And then Alienus is. It's gonna turn out the same way again, apparently. It's gonna need to make a lot of this. Okay. So, spirited. Oh no, other way around first. Oh no, void and then air and then vacuos uh, perdicio vacuos air osmotic enchanter. All right. Whoa! Holy cow! Okay, what is this? You grew tired of getting terrible enchantments for your efforts. To that, you created a new enchantment table that allows you to pick what enchantments you want to apply to an item. This new contraption requires a wand. Each enchantment requires a specific combination of V's from that wand. The price of the enchantment is exponentially proportional to the level you want to apply. Regular enchantment rules apply, for example, you can't combine Silk Touch with Fortune. After you selected the enchantments you want on an item, clicking the red button in the interface will start the enchanting progress. As the item is being enchanted, you can't take it out of the table, nor can you change the enchantments you're putting on it. The table will slowly drain these from the wand until it is done. For this to work, there needs to be four there needs to be six pillars in the nearby vicinity, four blocks. These pillars need to be at the same level of the table. The pillars need to be made of two to twelve obsidian totem blocks. Stacked on top of each other with a piece of niter on top of each of them. The enchanter will get flux energy from from them, grabbing, grabbing V's from the wand and combining to them to enchant the item. Lastly, the enchanter will cease to function with iron or copper capped wands due to them being too rustic and basic. Okay. Wow. And then I can learn all of these special enchantments? Ascent boost, slow fall, flaming touch. Disintegrate, Enchantment, Quick Draw, Vampirism. Oh, I am buying these. Dang it, I need more air for that one. I need more air for that one too. What's this? Tunnel? I need more instrumentum for that. Wait, what else? Hold on. Okay, just instrumentum. Just one instrumentum. Tunnel. Um, I need vacuous. And I don't have any air. What's this? Valiance. Disperse strike. Focus strikes. Final strike needs tell him. 
needs three tell them dang it okay and then instrumentum with ignis tell him tell him tell him cool what is final strike you formulated an enchantment that enables you to occasionally score critical hits. This enchantment can be applied on swords. When done so, there's a chance that the hit will do triple damage. So, okay, what do any of these do? Let me see. Flaming Touch. You have formulated an enchantment that allows you to summon imaginary flames. This enchantment can be applied on tools. When done so, the wielder can break anything wooden with extreme finesse. By use of a flame that softens the wood through the breaking process, but never destroying or damaging it. However, the tool becomes impotent against anything else and may takes double durability damage. Cool. Enchantment Tunnel. You formulated an enchantment that allows you to become more efficient at digging straight lines. This enchantment, when applied on tools, when can be applied on tools. When done so, digging multiple blocks in a straight line will will increase your digging speed. Cool. Uh, quick draw. You formulate an enchantment that allows you to draw your bow in a quicker fashion. When done so, the when applied on a bow, the bow can be fully drawn faster than normal. Not bad. Vampirism, I would expect, allows me to heal when I hit. Yeah. Valiance. This enchantment can be applied on swords. When done so, damage done with the sword will be increased when the wielder is at low health. Not bad. Uh, let's see. What's this? Focus strikes. Damage done to the mob on the first hit will be decreased, but strikes on but successive strikes on the same target will deal more damage. This enchantment will be applied on swords when done so. Damage to a mob on the first hit will be multiplied, but damage on successive strikes to the same mob will be decreased. It's pretty cool. It's ethereal platform. What's this? Kinetic attraction. Oh yeah, I never even saw what a transvector interface was. Uh, this thing is, there's only... S the thing is, there's only six sides to a block. Direwolf 20. Myth equals busted. Your la your latest construct can be bound to a block in the near in nearby vicinity. Its sides will mimic the sides of the block selected, and it'll function as an extension. It can accept buildcraft uh, TE three and industrial craft three or industrial craft two power essentia items and liquids, being able to also export the latter of the two. In order to bind an, the, an interface to another block, you need to create a special tool to do so. What you call the transvector binder should get the job done. By simply right-clicking on the interface followed by right-clicking on the target, these two will get bound and ready for operation. The limit is short, only four blocks. Hmm. It's also possible by right-clicking this block with any other to camouflage it as the block held. To remove the cover, simply right-click the camouflage block again. Cool. It has gotten increasingly stormy lately. Like, seriously with this. Alright. What else do we got here? So we got a kinetic attraction, levitational locomotive. It doesn't seem to be anything that's gonna help me purify. Oh, I mean, there's this. Shovel of the purifier. Oh, looks like I need some more ink. Let's see what the shovel of the purifier is, if I'm able to research it. 
All right, so let's go Ordo. Vitreous, Terra, Vitreous, Terra. And then. Hmm. Ordo. Perdicio. Something simple. Something simple. Gotta have something simple. Vitreous and we'll put Ordo here again. No, that's not, well, it might still work. Hold on. Because uh, they don't have errors. Oh, I do have some air now. And then, and then, there we go. Shovel of the Purifier. Sometimes the easiest way to remove patches of taint is to just physically remove them. By reinforcing a thomium shovel with silver wood and order shards, you've created a tool capable of, com of combating taint. The shovel of the purifier can dig through pulpy tainted lands as effectively as it can through normal earth. If held in your hand and right clicked, the shovel will purify all flux goo and gas from a small radius at the cost of durability. You no longer have to clean up infusion mishaps with a, pe with a piece of cobblestone. Hmm. Now see, that is helpful. And all I need is six Sano, to, or eight Sano to do that. Hmm. Hmm. And it's just the thomium shovel. Hmm. Interesting. Got the creative juices a flowing right now. Only thing is, I don't think I have enough Sano to make it work. So only have six here. Oh, there's got to be something in here. Just one, just a. I can make a golden apple. Basically, just do what I did before. I will use an apple. Right, it's gold ingots. Apple, gold ingots, golden apple. All right, the rest of these can get put away. That stuff really shouldn't be in there, but I'm not worried about it right now. All right, so I need. Perfodio, so I need pickaxe. It probably won't work if it's not a full pickaxe, right? Or maybe I haven't scanned a pickaxe before? It's only good for one Perfodio? Okay, what about a diamond pickaxe? Only good for one Perfodio. 
Well, then if all pickaxes are only good for one portfolio, then I know what I must do. So how much portfolio do I need? I need 12 portfolio. Which means I need to make... Uh, let's see. Where do we go? I got more cobble than this. Come on. I gotta have more cobble than this. Alright, I could use spruce wood and oak wood. Put this back. Let's see. Gonna need... There we are. There we are. 12 wooden pickaxes. 